I met a lot of people there who had nicknames which had nothing to do with their ordinary names. Okay. And in fact, there is a distinction between a diminutive and a nickname. A diminutive is like cat from your full name okay. or Roly from Roland and uh, so on, right? A diminutive yes. is a friendly, shorter, sometimes longer friendly. form, mm. like Warn, Warnie and so on, Yes. where there's some part of the, the new form that allows you to recover the full one. When someone's got a special form of their name, you ask them which one they'd like to be called by. Yes. I'm yep. occasionally called the Rollster. Rollster. Which doesn't doesn't bother me much. Rollo. Rollo. I'm also called Prof. But oh, then of course that's, that's nice. because I am one. But I was called that at school because I was studious. <laughs> and that is so a that nickname. that would be a nickname. That's prof a nickname. is a nickname in that yeah. context. Okay. And Bluey for someone with red hair or Chalky for a teacher. Mm -hmm. Not the teachers use chalk much these days, but still, no, yeah. you know, it's an associated property. Now, the thing about, about nicknames is that I hadn't, I hadn't realised this until I went to Winton. There were all these people called Peter. Right. But they each had a nickname, and the nickname was unique. So instead of saying Peter so-and-so, Peter so-and-so, you just used their nickname, and that was a unique way of getting their attention. Gotcha. Sometimes very short people are called Lofty, and some sometimes very tall people are called Shorty. Australians love being perverse, and we do this all over the all over the landscape. Sometimes they're whimsical. For example, there's a character called Selwood. In fact, there are, I think, three of them who play AFL, and they're called Bunnings because at Bunnings they sell, sell wood. wood. <laughs> there was a, uh, a rugby league player in New South Wales called Sigsworth, and his nickname was What's a Packeter? What's a packet of Sigsworth? Got it in oh, one. Right. Clever. Now, sometimes your nickname can be longer, sometimes, very often, it's shorter, but it's generally unique and distinctive, and it's a way that people know you to refer to. The funny thing is that once they take root, it's actually rather difficult to shake them. You, know, you don't actually get a second nickname very often during your life. The ones that you've given early do persist, unless you go and live in a completely new town and, and present yourself with a different name and yes. a different set of properties. Yes. Kiri. Hi. Hello. Is indeed that your real name? Yes, that is my real name. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my nickname is Billy. And how did that come about? Well, I was living in the UK and um, I was an Australian living in a house full of New Zealanders. <laughs> I had a very clever friend who um, decided to call me Billy because that was, I guess, short for Kirribilli House, which is obviously where the Prime Minister of Australia yeah. lives. So Billy kind of has stuck with me for the last 20 plus years. Yeah, that's great. And so Kiri and Billy. And again, that's actually pretty clever on the part of your New Zealand friends. So that, um, you know, Kiri and Billy, they give you the other part of the name, as it were. And it's a kind of compliment, you know, the sort of person that might live in the Prime Minister's house. Well, do you like Billy? Do you go by Billy, Kiri? Uh, well, my, yeah, my husband calls me Billy and I've got maybe sort of two other friends that sort of still call me Billy. But it's not, I, I actually get um, Kizza as well. Kizza. Kind of really annoys me. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, uh, now Kizza is a diminutive and it's because the R very often turns into a Z. In Australian, now these are diminutives again. Yeah. So Sharon is Shazza and, yes. Bill, and uh, Terry is Tessa and Murray is Muzza. Using someone's nickname is a, a kind of statement of friendship, maybe even intimacy. A nickname, by the way, comes from Old English eek name and it simply means your other name. So oh, that's where nickname right. comes from.